In this example, we're going to integrate two times the sine of x plus three times the cosine of x. Let's go ahead and work through its solution. So we should be able to just jump into it and work it out right away. So let's try to think backwards. First of all, note that the constants in front of the trig functions, they're just gonna hang out. So this is two. And then we're integrating sine. So what's a function whose derivative is sine? Well, the derivative of cosine is gonna give you negative sine. So if you take the derivative of negative cosine, it'll be a negative negative sine, which is a sine. So it's gonna be negative cosine. I'm gonna put the negative here out front. Let's check that. If we take the derivative of cosine, we get negative sine. There's a negative two here, so that's gonna give us two sine x. And then here, we're looking for a function whose derivative is cosine. Well, the derivative of sine is cosine, so this will be plus three sine x, plus our constant of integration, capital C. I feel like we should just check our answer by writing it down, by checking it, so let's do that. So to check, you take the derivative, right? Let's do it. The negative two hangs out. Derivative of cosine is negative sine plus the three hangs out, derivative of sine is cosine, derivative of c is zero. Okay, again, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, the derivative of, um, oh, the derivative of sine is cosine, the derivative of c is zero, brain failure, right? So just checking this differentiating, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, derivative of sine is cosine, derivative of c is zero. Negative and negative is positive, this is two sine x plus three cosine x. This is exactly what's in the integrand, right? So you can always check your answer by differentiating your result.